so the next one is data backup policy. A uh, document control page with document ID. A related document. Confidentiality statement here. And table of contents. Now the objective of this policy. Now we are backing up the data. So there are majorly two environments which is very crucial uh, related to real-time projects. One is UAT and another is production. So the real data must be backed up. Now we can say uh, for development as well as lower environments, we also need the data backup, but the criticality of data on lower environments are low. So depending on what environment we are using, uh, we need to define the data backup policy. Okay, now this is the objective uh, of data backup policy. We ensure the availability of data and to be very specific, the availability of production data. Uh, so these are the roles and responsibilities. So IT team responsible to ensure data backup requirements are in place. And here we need support of IT team. Uh, they can uh, do all the activities of uh, data backup, uh, creating it, restoring it, and ensuring the system is active once it's restored. New scope, it applies to all employees, contractors, vendors, as well as all uh, data, specifically which is defined as a critical data. So first we need the list of data or list of customers. Among them, what are the critical environments and what are the critical data? Uh, the data backup process. Now, we can uh, do backup on a CDs, a compact disk, or uh, this might be a rewritable CD, uh, or on network storage, or on removable cartridges. So some of them are old. So we use cloud storage now, or we can use a network storage. So what I see a company, they take all, uh, all of the data which is critical and store on the network storage. And other copy, they might store on cloud storage. So there are three types of uh, backup practices we have here. A full backup, incremental backup, and a differential backup. Now, this strategy depends on company to company. Uh, say example, this company deploys a strategy of uh, weekly full backups. So we are doing weekly full, full backups on a week with daily incremental backup with a retention period of one month. Okay. So this is the strategy for this company for their critical data backups. Okay. Now the data backup requirements. These are some of the requirements. So we need to first identify and define the types of backups necessary to protect the data. Uh, develop, implement, and document detailed procedures on how to backup and restore the data. So all these, you can see these are the requirements. Data backup, disaster recovery. So under disaster recovery, so this exercise should be done at least twice in a year. And it depends on our regulatory requirements as well as our project contract. So recovery time objective and recovery point objective, this would be calculated. Uh, recovery time objective is like maximum tolerable downtime. Once an application is down, uh, how long the project team or the client can bear the loss. Example, they can say, okay, we, we can take it for one hour or two hours or four hours. So this is a recovery time objective and recovery point objective is the amount of data loss. So once there is any incident and the system is down, there might be some other, there might be some loss of data during, we, we call this as a tra uh, the current transactions. So these current transactions, like how much we can bear, example, we can bear up to uh, uh, 10 MB or 50 MB. So that's recovery point objective. So we need to define recover RTU and RPOs for uh, disaster recovery. And this exercise should be done at least once in a year, or it is recommended to do twice a year. Okay, so this is disaster recovery. We have another detailed policy on disaster recovery. 
uh, data backup frequency. So how frequent you would be backing up the data. So we say we are doing it weekly. A full backup is done weekly. Now this depends on, again, project requirements. Do you have sufficient storage? Uh, and other things should not get impacted during backup process, okay? So backup should be based on the result of application and critical data analysis and business impact analysis. We call this as BIA. So these are the two things we need to do before we start any data backup uh, requirements. Data backup testing. So this is really important. What we have seen, a lot of organization, they define all the parameters. Okay, they define RTO, RPO. They have all the things done, but they don't do any kind of backup testing. So backup testing, we should do at least, you know, twice uh, in a year and depending on if there is any change to the system like if we add any new server if we add any new future any new feature to the application then a uh, basic backup testing should be done by the team okay so this is really important doing backup testing ensuring the restoration of the application the restoration of the system is working okay now uh, uh, another part is off-site storage Offsite storage is like uh, you have your own premise and you store the data on your premise. So it should not be uh, on cloud. So all, all electronic records and the data backup plan, it must be stored offsite as one safe copy. Okay. So all backup activities conducted environment will be maintained two generations of backup offsites at all times. So we should have minimum two copies of data. One we can store at a cloud storage and one we can store uh, off on-premise, okay? So if any one of the environment is attacked, example, if offsite storage is attacked, we have a copy of a backup at uh, cloud. And if a cloud service provider is attacked and we cannot restore the data, then we have an offsite storage. Now. The next point is new requirements or new projects. So we may have a new projects coming up and change management requirements coming up. So under that new project, we should have some uh, some kind of minimum parameters for data backup. Like example, we should have RTO, RPO mentioned. What application needs to be backed up? It's a web, web app, mobile app. And what are the details of the applications? What environments we are looking to back up? Example, development, SIT. This would be of low priority because this does not contain any kind of uh, real customer data. UAT and production we can prioritize. Uh, and uh, database details, uh, application interface uh, points, all, all these details should be documented uh, when a project kicks off, okay? So these are some of the requirements. Now audit requirements. Uh, so uh, there should be some person from information security who can audit all the requirements and can ensure that these activities are carried on, okay? Uh, so these are some of uh, the data backup policy. Uh, apart from these, like employee training and awareness, so this is uh, generic to all policy, compliance and monitoring. Then we have escalation matrix, policy exception, uh, policy review and updates. In conclusion, so that's it. So by defining this data backup policy, we ensure that availability of data is there in case of any ransomware attack or in case of any other attack, uh, there should not be any loss of data or unavailability of data. Now, if you have any feedbacks on uh, data backup policy, do comment below. Uh, thank you for watching this video.